Here at the Pitt County Animal Shelter, we are a high volume facility. We take in over 3,500 animals a year, both dogs and cats. We try to find as many homes as possible for all of them. Dogs are $100, and that includes the spay neuter, a microchip, and all of their vaccinations, and a heartworm test. And cats are $75, and that includes a feline leukemia test, the spay and neuter, a microchip, and vaccination. I feel like our adoption process is very easy. You just come in, you look at the pets that are available for adoption. If there's one that you decide that you can add to your family and take home, it's a very simple process. You just need to be at least 18 years old, have a current ID um, with you. We have an adoption agreement that you will read over and sign, just saying that you will provide it the basic vet care, food, water, what we consider common sense items. Um, we also do ask that if there comes a time that you can't keep your pet for any reason that you do return it to us. It might surprise you that almost over 50% of the animals we do get in here at the shelter are owner surrenders. People have to give up their pets for various reasons. Unfortunately, they may lose a job, they may lose a home, they may have a sick family member, um, or things like that. Um, allergies develop, and they just have to give up their pet. But you will have people that tell you when they've adopted that they're the best dog that they've ever had, or cat. The community is very important for us to meet our mission here at the Pitt County Animal Shelter. We can't do it alone without your help. The only way to prevent the overpopulation problem in Pitt County is to spay and neuter. Unfortunately, until that is done, we're going to continue to have lots of animals come into our care and custody. Without the community support, then many, many other animals, unfortunately, would have to be euthanized. So it takes all of us to work together um, to take care of these animals and find them loving forever homes. And if you can't adopt a pet, there's still other ways that you can help. You can provide donations, uh, you can provide your time and volunteer with us. So there's lots of ways to help the animals in the community.